You gotta go deep. He's gonna protect you inside. It's like you as the aggressor. Let's go. D Rob! You can slip that! Two steps, slip it. Let's go flip it. Come on, baby. Come on, my man. Mo, finish that! Go get it! That's it! That's it! Good job. Good, good, good! That was Kentucky football assistant Frank Buffano in action during the spring practice session. Welcome back to BB and tonight. Eli Gaines sat down with the defensive backs coach and co-special teams coordinator to get his thoughts during spring practice. We'll just start here. Uh, just how's spring been going for you and uh, the, the safeties group as a whole? Uh, it's been going good. You know, it uh, gives us a chance not only to work with uh, the guys that have been here, but also uh, you know, some of the younger guys that may not get, have had the chance to get the reps uh, in the fall during camp and that. And then once we got into the season, then it's good to get, you know, in our case, Jordan Lovett, who came in in this, uh, in this winter in January. So it's good to get work with those guys. How, how's the transition been? It's been good for Jordan. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's a lot of different terminology and, and the way we play things, our coverages, our run fits and that are, are a little bit different for him. But uh, he, he's shown that he's a student of the game and uh, it, it's working out good for him. And you mentioned some of the, the older guys, the leadership that you have in that in that group, too. Yeah. And you talk about, I mean, Yusuf Corker is kind of the one yes. that jumps off the page. Yeah, Yusuf right? Corker. You've got um, Devontae Robinson that's back there. You've got Taj. Dotson, you got Ty Asian, I mean, you got Jalen Geiger, you got Moses Douglas. I mean, we're a very deep group, which is good, but um, it, it is a blessing to have Yusuf back, to have D Rob here, uh, and have Ty here. The safety position overall, it seems like it's just kind of expanding and expanding with the medium sets and everything. How much um, more value are you getting out of, out of those guys? Well, what it does is it opens up another position and it puts more athleticism on the field for us. You know what I mean? When you, when you play in a, in a base defense where you've got a Sam, which is our outside linebacker there, uh, you're limited on certain things you can do in coverage, where if we put that medium on the field, he also has to be able to be physical in the run game, but we're able to do some different things with coverage with it. But it does expand on the, the possibility. Now you're talking about five guys on the field, five defensive backs on the field instead of just four. You joined Mark's original coaching staff back in, what, 2013 here? Yep, 2013. You, you were a director of football operations, I was the director correct? of football operations. But prior to that, I had coached at Youngstown State. And then prior to that, I had coached at Arizona under Coach Stoops as his GA. So um, the transition from operations to back on the field was uh, always a goal. and. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to, when I had the time, to be in the defensive meetings, kind of in the back, just still being involved in, in the football aspect of it. When was the moment that you realized you wanted to be a coach and had a passion for coaching? I don't know a lot of people know, but I coached at our alma mater, which is Carter Mooney High School, from 90 to 96. Okay. okay. And then I stepped away from the game for several years, and then the itch came back, the desire. I think I always had it, but, you know, it's a little different at the high school level and then being able to and, and an opportunity came to, to join Mike as the head coach out there and then obviously Mark as the defensive coordinator and then from there it was just uh, I started off doing whatever I needed to do and then they just expanded on it and you know one thing left to another and you know coach Wolford got the job at Youngstown State called me up asked me if I'd like to join him and I said absolutely because one it was a chance to go back home and, and two it was a chance to uh, to be a full-time position coach and I've talked to uh, to Vince, Mark, obviously, and just the Youngstown group that's here is what's sort of the personality of these guys that you guys bring into this building? Well, I think it's just our work ethic, you know, and I think it's pride. You know, um, we take pride in what we do, and, and we've always done that. And then you go back to Youngstown, and, and people there, it's, it's, it's hardcore. There's nothing easy. I mean, um, you know, uh, and that's how I was brought up and how they were brought up. And when we went and played for his dad at Cardinal Mooney along with uh, Coach Don Butchie there, uh, they, they taught us that hard work. I mean, when you practice four to five hours a day as a high school student, I mean, you've got to be committed. And I think that that helped each and every athlete or student that went through that program there to know that whatever profession you went into, and as a husband and as a friend and as, uh, you know, as a father, um, you, you, you carried that with you, that, that hard work, and you try and instill that in everybody else because nothing's easy. Coach White, kind of overall as a defensive coordinator. Awesome. What, yeah, just what, what does awesome. he bring to the table? It, you know what? Coach White is just, he's a great guy, man. He's um, even kill. He, he, he's got, he's got a, 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 um, 
unique side to him where you know he's an intense person but yet he's got that calmness about him you know and um, I've really enjoyed working for him you know I, uh, I was in an operations role when he first got here so I just kind of sat back and you know him coming in with the NFL experience and all that you're always interested to hear well what do they do at that level you know and um, but just an awesome guy an awesome person husband father man you know just blessed to be working for him. Stick around, we'll have more after this. You're watching BBN Tonight.